um, viewers and subscribers, welcome. Now look at the, um, what we have for question number two. Question number two is on optics. Optics. Optics has to do with light. So we are given a ray box with an illuminated object, which will be what? Which will pass through, uh, the illumination will pass through the lens and then it will be shown on the uh, on the screen. Alright? So this is the lens. This is the lens. This is the lens holder. Okay? And that's these are the two things we are giving. We are also giving this. We are giving the what? The screen and the ray box. Okay? Then we have a ruler. The ruler will be used to measure the distance. You, the distance between the ray box and the lens. That's what we call you here, okay? Now the instruction is quite simple there. The instruction is simple. Now before we proceed, let me quickly urge students preparing for netbook not to run away. Don't run away from optics, all right? This, in this optics, they are not tracing. We are not tracing anything, no tracing papers. We are not going to hang any tracing papers. It's very easy, okay? So now, just try and watch to the end. Watch to the end of this video, okay? I'm going to tell you three major reasons why you should work on this on this uh, question, okay? When you see it on that day, work on this question. I will tell you three reasons. So do not um, do not stop watching this video till the end. Just watch till the end. I will show you how this experiment is going to be beneficial to you if you answer it on that day. Now let's go ahead. Question. You are provided with an illuminated object providing a screen, meter room, and other necessary uh, materials. Okay? Now, what are the instructions? M measure and record the size. Measure and record the size of the illuminated object. Okay? This is the size of the meter object. So you measure it and record it. Then place the object O. This is the object O. And the screen S on opposite sides of the word converging lens. So uh, the object is here, the screen is here, while the lens is at the middle. So they are on opposite sides. Okay? Then set the distance between the object and the lens u equals 30 cm. We are setting the distance between the object here and the lens equals what? 30 cm. So we are starting with 30 cm. Then what do we do next? Adjust the screen until a sharp image is until a sharp image of the illuminated object is obtained on the screen. Okay, you have to adjust this screen until you obtain a sharp image. Then measure and record the size A of the image. Now this is the image size A. You have to measure it with your ruler. Is that it? Now repeat the procedure for four other values of U equals 35 cm, 40 cm, 45 cm and 50 cm respectively. Then in each case, do what you have been doing from um, from theory to uh, to six. Okay, what you did from three to six, repeat it in seven. So that's how you get you get all your values. All right. So don't worry, it's going to be very easy. Then you plot your graph. I will, I have already taught you how to plot a graph. Okay. Now this is. Um, uh, quite easy. Let's quickly see how we can perform the experiment. So let's quickly go into the experiment right away. Now, this is the setup, okay, of the experiment for optics. Okay. Now we have to set u u equals thirty cm for a start. Okay. That's the first thing we are going to do. So the the value for u is the distance between the ray box. And the what? And this um, lens resting on the lens holder. So we set it at 30. Hmm? U equals 30. So you can see that U is 30 already, okay? The distance between the ray box and the what? And the lens. That is U equals 30. Is that 30? Now I'm going to switch on the light. I switch on the light. You can see the light is on. So after seeing the light, I will adjust the screen, the white screen. Mm? Then use my ruler to measure the the size of the illuminate of the image. So it is four, four, four. So 
I will write 4 here. Okay, that is 4. Now, I will, I will go ahead. We are told to calculate magnification and then the inverse of what? Magnification. But we are not going to do that now. Let's just take the readings for all the values. Now, let's go to 35. 35. We are in 35 right now. 35. Then I will adjust. I will adjust until I start seeing the wire clearly here. Okay, which is a sharp image. Then take my ruler, measure again. So what I have here is 3 cm. 3 cm. So I will write 3 cm here. Then I will come again, take it to 40. We are here, we are in at 40. We are at 40. Then readjust it again till you get a sharp image of the object. So this is a sharp image. Then you do what? You measure. So we measure. Uh, here we have 2.3. 2.3. So 2.3. So do the same to 45. Move to 45. Move it to 45. Okay? Uh, yes. Then readjust it again till you get a sharp image of the, of the object. Look at it. So we measure. We measure what we have now is 1.8. 1.8. So I will measure. I will write 1.8. All right? Then, lastly, we have 50. 50. So I take it to 50. So we are already at 50, which is the very last one. Do the same thing. Okay, adjust it. You get a sharp. Once you start seeing the wire clearly on the screen, you can see it there. Then use what you have here. Then measure it. Measure it with the ruler. What you have here is 1.3. 1.3. So write 1.3. So that's all we have here. 1.3. 1.30. Okay? That's all we have. So we have taken our readings. This is what uh, we are taking. So um, somebody is already working on the readings. Um, already almost finishing. Now, um, before the person finishes, let me quickly tell you one beautiful thing. I remember I told you I was going to tell you three things why I will go for this experiment. Number one is that the experiment, the setup is very easy. Very easy, you can see that it's not complicated, it's not complex. Then number two is that there is no connection. Our readings came very quickly. So there's no problem, we just got our readings on time, okay? Then number three is that in the entire nation, for instance, you, you can tell that only a few persons will perform this experiment. And that makes, uh, that, that makes it favorable. Any student who, who does this is likely to do well because they might um, give the student preferential treatment. Okay. Now the reading is ready. The person who is taking the reading has, has done what has done all the calculations. Now, okay. Now this is the readings. You can see it there. We have to plot the graph of m inverse against u. M inverse against you. You, you can do, you can plot the graph yourself, okay? If you want to learn how to plot this graph, watch my video on how to plot your graph is in four minutes. All right, I made a video on how to plot your graph in four minutes. So watch, watch that video. I can assure you, you, you will be able to plot your graph very quickly, okay? So thank you for watching. If you have been deriving value for my video and you are not subscribed to my channel, please do, do well to subscribe. Turn on the no notification bell. Share this video to other students who are preparing for NECO so that they also benefit from it. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I I I'll see you um, when you are celebrating. Goodbye for now.